17. This has been happening routinely for the last week since I've been in this truck using this GPS. As you can see, it thinks I'm over there. A quarter mile, a half mile, whatever it is. It makes the, uh, it makes the GPS nearly useless because it has to keep recalculating. You see that pink line that it keeps putting on I-17? Each time it throws up that, re that pink line, it recalculates. Gets up to 99% then recalculates based on the new spot that it thinks I am. As you can see, the truck keeps moving up the screen. It thinks I'm driving a half mile out that way, off at the boonies. That's because the GPS is off and Magnetic North is so far off, it only has to be a quarter mile off to pretty much render the GPS satellites useless. Let me see if I can pull it back down a bit. Now you can see the truck's here. Get the truck in screen a little bit more. So you can see the truck moving along toward the top of the screen, but it's, I don't know how far that is, quarter mile, half mile off. It thinks I'm a quarter mile or a half mile over that direction. And this has been happening all week long with every single trip I take. The GPS is rendered useless. Because when you're on a city street and it thinks you're a quarter mile over, it thinks you're just one street over. It's not useful in guiding you. It thinks I'm out there in the Prescott National Forest, four wheeler and across the uh, across the dunes. And as I curve around this turn, curving around this turn, the truck too will curve and it will stay about a quarter mile to a half mile. See, we're headed south right now. That's west, so, so it's about a quarter mile west of where I actually am. I've shown you this before when my Uber GPS was off by 100 miles, and then it suddenly came back into sync. That's because Magnetic North the pole shift is well underway. And that will be the subject of my next discussion is that the magnetics have reached zero point and that is when the sticky stuff that creates a lag time between your intention and your manifestation reduces and we become instantly able to manifest reality. There's been videos where people show you the sun rising or setting on the horizon and then they raise up and they show you their compass that's on their vehicle, right there usually. And then they show you the sun, then they show you their compass. And their compass heading is saying north or south instead of east or west, indicating a rising or setting sun. That's not because the sun is rising or setting in the north or the south. It's because the GPS compass is, their compass that they're showing you is electronic, a digital readout up here coming in through GPS satellite that has malfunctioned due to the magnetic north being so far off and it keeps moving and it's becoming so unstable they cannot reset the satellites quickly enough and often enough to keep up with it. This is what I mean, look at the percentage. It says zero percent, it'll get up to 99 and go back to zero. I just zoomed it out instead of being zoomed in. See, now it's on, continue to Kennedy Drive. Oh, wait a minute, you're over here. No, wait a minute, you're over there. Uh, 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 recalculating, recalculating. It thinks I'm actually on a street now because there's a street over there rather than just being right in the middle of the National Forest. But, oh, never mind, you're not on Kennedy Drive. You're this, no, you're there. No, you're just four-wheeling right through the middle of 
someone's yard right up and over the mountain. Recalculating, recalculating. Clearly, I'm not driving at an angle to the streets going through these freeway intersections. Continue on I-17, and this is where it'll go from 0% to 99% back to zero because it keeps recalculating. Oh, wait a minute, you're going this way. No, you're going that way. Hold on, hold on, recalculating, recalculating. Go to Copper Star Road. Oh, wait a minute, no. Uh, recalculating, recalculating. And I'm just still on uh, uh, Highway 17, US, US 17 in Arizona. So, 0%, it'll go up to 90 to 85. Continue to Antelope Creek. Give me the aerial view. Tell me to go clear around there because I think I'm out there somewhere and say, oh, never mind, 0%. Recalculating. 84. Continue to Antelope Creek. So, the GPS is off. This is Garmin. This is one of the uh, most reputable, reputable services when it comes to GPS satellite tracking systems. Guess what? driverless Uber ain't going to be doing so hot when the North Pole won't even hold still long enough to get a, get a bead on it. And it thinks you're driving through someone's yard and tells you to take a ride, take a left, oh, it runs you right over a cliff. to get back to actually doing the driving. Because <laughs> my spidey senses are still spot on. Just to finish up, it still thinks I'm a quarter mile west. North, south, yes. West. Whatever that is, quarter mile, half mile west of the road I'm actually on, which is 17. So now it'll have me going out into the desert. And as soon as there's a road for it to start recalculating and thinking I might be on, it'll do so. Until then, it'll just have me cruising alongside 17. It's not my device that's off. It's the GPS satellites that are no longer accurate. They had to start repainting the lines on runways for airports a decade ago when this started happening. The FAA has a certain tolerance after which it is mandated that they have to repaint the lines. And I think that tolerance is like two degrees or whatever it is. I'm not sure. But when it can't even keep me on the road, and it's becoming more and more of a common occurrence, I think those self-driving cars are probably still going to have a driver in the, in the driver's seat for the foreseeable future until after the pole flip. After which, then the magnetic poles will stabilize enough that you can calibrate the... GPS satellites once again. I'm going to include a link in the description of a music, a song, that says, If the North wasn't true, would I find my way to you? And it is the theme song from a movie by Nova called Magnetic Storm, where they were talking about exactly what we're going through at this point.